Kitchen. We're back with another recipe. So happy that you're here. While you're here, make sure you like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more recipes, more food, more fun, more faith. So, as you all can see, we're baking today. Yes, we are. And from the description, you probably already know, we're making a red velvet cake. So a lot of you all were asking for my red velvet cake recipe that I posted on my Instagram. I'm gonna put a picture of that here or here or somewhere it's gonna show you a picture so yeah that's the red velvet cake that we're gonna be making I'm also going to post my recipe card now with all the ingredients instructions and everything so make sure you screenshot that right about now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so screenshot that yes we're gonna be making a red velvet cake so why I'm making this video is one because you all asked and two somebody actually ordered a red velvet cake for me so I was like well boom what's it called kill two birds with one stone make the video get the money everybody happy you know what I'm saying so yeah as you can see a lot of my ingredients are pre-measured out that's because that recipe makes two eight inch round cakes so two pans like this um, but they actually ordered a three layer cake so I have increased my recipe by half but because I'm not gonna embarrass myself and do math on camera I had to you know anyways we finna get started tune in all right, so first we're just gonna make sure our oven is preheated to 325 degrees. And it's also really important to make sure all your ingredients are room temperature. All right, so boom, next we're gonna to sift together all our dry ingredients. We're gonna use our sifter and we're gonna take our flour as well as we have cocoa powder, we have some baking powder, salt, baking soda, everything that is needed is in this bowl. So we're just going to start by sifting these things together. And what sifting is going to do is help make those ingredients finer. So when it is time to melt, when it's time to cook them, simple. It's simple, brother. So after you're done, you're just going to take a whisk and just stir everything together until it's all combined. So once that's done, you're just gonna set those dry ingredients to the side. And now we're gonna to mix together our sugar, oil, and butter. So it's really important that your butter is room temperature. And you just wanna mix everything together until it's thoroughly combined. So next you wanna get your spatula and just continue to scrape down those sides as it mixes. Now that it is all mixed, we're gonna go in and add in our eggs. So you wanna do that one at a time. You want them to be room temperature and it's important not to over beat your eggs. So just combine them until they're just blended and then stop the mixer and continue adding the eggs. We're gonna add in our liquid ingredients. So we're gonna add in our buttermilk, our vinegar, our vanilla, and our food coloring. You're probably gonna see I accidentally dropped the food coloring bottle in the mix, but that's no problem. You see me, I got my little calculator cause I told you I can't be doing all no maths now. But yeah, I made a little oopsie, but that's okay. Alright, so now that our batter is pretty much mixed, we're going to then add in our dry ingredients to the bowl. Now because I doubled this recipe, you're going to see me scraping a lot from the sides and the bottom because I want to make sure it is all being thoroughly blended. So from this point on, it's just going to be adding, scraping, adding, scraping, mixing until it is all the way combined and ready to be poured into our pans. And she's done. All right, so we made our batter and now it's time to prepare our pans. So what I'm gonna do is take my baking spray. I usually use either Pam's baking spray or Baker's Joy, whatever you have on deck. And we just wanna spray our pan all around. Now, two different ways you can go about doing this. So sometimes I'll spray my pan and then I'll put flour all over it to ensure that, you know, it's just non-stick, comes out the pan easily. 
but because this is for somebody else i want to be a hundred percent sure it's not going to stick so i'm going to take my parchment paper so i bought these cute little parchment papers because they're that cute and i'm going to put these in the bottom of my pants and that's going to just really help it be non-stick so I'm gonna put those in the bottom. So cute. Yes, yes. And then it also came with this little roll to go on the side. So let me get my scissors. Oh, you know, I think they're all the way. Here they are. Gotta be more prepared. So I'm gonna take this, my first time using it clearly. Take the sticker off. Put the sticker somewhere else. And then I'm just gonna I'm gonna go around the outside of my pan to figure out where I need to cut it. So I'm gonna do like like that, and we're gonna see. Good in my first hand. So yeah, I really like doing this. Um, this cake is for one of my dear friends who goes to my church. Their mother's birthday is coming up, and they wanted a cake from me, and I was just so happy that they would even think of me to make them a cake. Shout out to them. Shout out to Jazz and Cameron. They the bestesses or whatever. <laughs> okay, so that look right. Y'all ain't never did this before now. So that look about right. What y'all think? Yeah, I think it look right. Comment below if you think it look right. If you don't think it look right, you can comment too. But be nice to me, please. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to do the same method. This time I'm going to do a little less overlap. Because I'm trying to, you know. I'm going to try to mess it up for real. Like, and, okay. So, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the two pans first. And then I'm going to take it out and then cook the last cake in one of these pans and that's because i have other circle round pans but last time i made a three layer cake like just for myself actually the one i posted on instagram the layers was different sizes so my pans were different sizes even though i measured them to make sure that they weren't they still ended up being different sizes and i was like oh my gosh this is embarrassing so my cake got a little lean to it like it was given eiffel tower type year but <laughs> that's okay you know what i'm saying that is a okay so this one is giving me just a little bit more problems i think i think i just made it too long so i'm just gonna cut like a tiny piece off just to try to help with that okay so I'm gonna... girl, I, don't know, girl. <laughs> I told y'all i ain't never did this before y'all i ain't never did this before that one look decent. It look good. And then probably when I put the batter in, it's going to push it all to the sides anyways. Um, boom. So now it's time to pour the batter. Actually, let me cut this extra piece off too because I don't need no extra, baby. Okay. Boom. Time to pour the batter. All right, y'all. I'm very, very much so clumsy. But I'm going to pour these till they're about like halfway fill okay i'm gonna just start with that because okay. remember i still gotta have some for the second cake all right so i mean for the third cake lol y'all be trying to be better at math but it'll be working lol okay so what i'm gonna do is put this down and i'm just gonna I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Until they look about even, cause the cake gonna rise, cause it got all that uh, powders and stuff, baking powders and baking sodas and everything. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to both batters because they didn't look that even. Okay, and then the rest of this is gonna be used for the third cake, hallelujah. Just like that, so they both like halfway full. We're gonna put it in that oven, period. To let me see how many minutes. Y'all, I'll be using my recipes to a T. That's why I tell other people to use my recipes because even I do it. 
It's like even Jesus had 12 disciples. So people be trying to be lonely. No. Even Jesus had friends, you know what I'm saying? He had 12 good men. So who am I? Not to use my own recipe. That's not in the Bible, though. The recipe is. The 12 disciples is. All right, y'all. So we're going to put the case in the oven for uh, 35 minutes. Total 35, 36 minutes. But we're going to do it 15 minutes and then rotate it and then another 15 minutes. Okay? All right. So our cakes are out the oven. You can see I have them on the cooling rack. So we're going to let these cool here for like... 20 minutes or so then we're going to remove them from the pan and then i'll be baking the next cake and then that'll be it for this video um i'm going to make a second video where i make the frosting and i ice the cakes and i level them and i do all that stuff i'm not doing them together one because i'm a terrible <laughs> cake decorator like it's embarrassing so i gotta do that in a second video only because it's going to be more embarrassing than informative and i want this to really be informative for y'all so stay tuned for that video but that is my red velvet cake recipe like i said just let these cool for 20 minutes remove them from the pan and then ice them and they're ready to serve